but yeah, it feels amazing. My skin feels amazing. Hey guys, it's Zuhi here. Welcome back to my channel. Okay guys, so for today's video, I have to show you guys this method of exfoliating that is working superbly on my skin. Of course, I'm going to also show you guys how I've been exfoliating my skin in other different ways, chemical, physical, and enzymatic exfoliation. So if you guys want to know how I've been exfoliating my skin, please keep on watching. Yay! I know I'm speaking really fast, but I'm really excited to show this to you guys. <laughs> One thing that I do want to mention before we start is that I actually have changed the way I exfoliate. I don't have a fixed schedule. Like before, I used to be, okay, I'll exfoliate once or twice a week. Nowadays, I just exfoliate when I need to. Too. When I can see my skin is congested or I'm getting lotion burgers Meaning that a lot of my skincare is not being absorbed and they're just peeling off And when I've sweated and I get more sebum more than usually So these three are kind of like the key points that I do keep in mind when I look at my skin to see if I need to exfoliate So yeah, that is one thing that I do want to get out there So please don't over exfoliate. It's going to be very detrimental for your skin Especially if you already have compromised skin barrier or you're dealing with dehydration and all that and before I actually show you guys this amazing method of physically exfoliating Let me just share with you guys how I've been exfoliating in other different ways Let me first start off with chemical exfoliation with chemical exfoliation You basically you're using acids AHA and BHA to remove the dense skin cells off of your skin And also with BHA they're gonna penetrate through the sebum and go through your pores to clean out all the gunk Now when it comes to chemical exfoliation, I have definitely been using milder products products I know that won't be too harsh and that have a very low concentration or low amount of the acids in themselves So I have two products right here that I've been uh, using for chemical whenever I want to chemically exfoliate First I have the ISOE PHA first toner and the great thing about PHA is that because their particles are bigger They're gonna penetrate less meaning that they're going to be less harsh for your skin So this is definitely one of the products that I been really enjoying and then this is the Benton Aloe BHA skin toner this only has 0.5% of BHA which I think is mild enough so I do like using this for my borres so these two are basically two types of chemical exfoliators that I've been enjoying and then I also have this by wish trend green tea enzyme powder wash now with this product basically you're doing an enzymatic exfoliation so I guess in a way it's kind of like a chemical exfoliation because enzyme Enzymes, you know, they break down the keratin proteins on the surface of your skin So basically they also break the bond that holds the dead skin cells But the thing is the enzyme it does not disturb the pH level It is not dependent on the pH level and also because the particles are also big themselves They won't penetrate likewise like the pHA so they would be less harsh for your skin So enzymatic powder wash they're great if you can't use acids and if you have extremely sensitive skin And I know that Union Nishi loves Loves this product. That's how I actually got to know this product in the first place. I saw her really liking it, so I was like, I have to try that out. And it is really, really mild. And you can use it also as like a cleansing slash exfoliating product. So I think this is another great option if you have extremely sensitive skin. All right, lastly, for the physical exfoliation that I have been crazy about. Well, not crazy about, I don't do it often because I want to protect my skin. Actually, Union Yun was the one who told me about this tip uh, while we were filming a collab video which should be up very very soon guys <laughs> 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 So stay tuned but she told me about it and I tried it out right away that night and I was just like I was texting her oh my gosh on my skin looks feels great so all you need is a big type of lotion or a gel type preferably something that is a bit more runny and that has a little bit of fatness to it like fat lipid into it so I am using the ceramide Illion ceramide actual soothing gel which I have been loving dearly. I am actually, I've used a lot of this and this product has been so good to me, so good for my skin, body, face, in general so and it's really affordable guys so I highly recommend this but anyways any lotion or a gel type that you can find and all you have to do you can do this after cleansing so what you do is you get a big amount you want to be very generous with this and what you do is you're gonna massage it into your skin and you want to be very generous because the idea of this credit to Union Ni, thank you Union Ni, this is great what you want to do is you want to soften up the dead skin cells 
And so I just love this because first of all, you're massaging it so you're not being harsh on your skin. You're just gently massaging it, giving it love and care that it needs. And it just feels really relaxing as well. You know, this is a type of pampering that we need when we talk about skincare, not just piling a ton of it on. And for me, I like to take my time with the massaging because it's also the process that I think matters. It's relaxing and you really want to take the time to soften up the dead skin cell so that it comes off easily at the end. So for me, a good three to five minutes will do. And I like to concentrate around my nose because that is where I have blackheads. Here as well, around my mouth as well. I had a weird dry patch around my lips. So I'm just going to rub it gently. And then what you'll also notice is that the dry parts of your skin will also absorb the skincare while you're massaging it. So you're basically moisturizing and exfoliating at the same time and treating your skin all at the same time. So I think it is just a great all-in-one process. And after you're done massaging your skin and you feel like the dead skin cells are softened up, what you do is you take a very, very nice cotton pad. I think the best one for me is the Thank You For My Jewel Premium Cotton Pad. This is definitely one of the best ones I've tried. And you really want to get a gentle, high quality pad because what we're going to do, we are going to wipe it off. So you want to use something that's it's very smooth, very gentle, nothing like with gauzy parts on it. So this cotton actually does have a gauzy part, but we're not going to use that. We're going to use the smooth side that just has linings on it. It has gauze part on the other side. And then on the cotton pad, what we're going to do, we're going to put on some toner. We're gonna wet it with some toner. I'm using this Primera Miracle Seed Essence that I've been trying out and loving. It feels really, really great. And it absorbs right away onto your skin. And of course, this is, there's a lot of product in it. So once you've wet your cotton pad, what you're going to do, you're going to gently wipe off the excess gel or the lotion that you've used. So for me, I like to first go in on my T-zone because that's where I have the most sebum, sweat, and so I do want to get rid of the dead skin cells here fast. And you want to be very, very gentle, guys. Don't exert a lot of pressure. You don't really need to, actually. Gently, gently wiping it off. And I'm extra gentle on my cheek areas because this is the more sensitive areas of your skin. And this method is actually a method that a lot of department stores in Korea, they use. Like whenever you wanna get a foundation tested on you and they have to remove the makeup that's already on you, this is kind of the way that they'll remove it. It's so easy and it feels like a really nice treat for your skin. And then for the rest, I just tap everything in. Now, of course, I don't do this very often. No matter how gentle I think it is, I still think the best method is just to leave your skin alone. And I'll do it whenever I feel like my skin needs it. So like I said, I don't have a fixed schedule for exfoliating. I look at my skin and my skin's like, girl, I need some exfoliating to do it, then I'll do it. And then after you've absorbed everything in, you're done. But yeah, it feels amazing. My skin feels amazing. So I just wanted to quickly make this video for you guys so that you can also perhaps try it out. Maybe your skin isn't feeling any of the other types of exfoliation. And of course, every skin is different. And I know a lot of you guys have sensitive skin. So if you are a bit, you know, feeling scared to try this out, maybe try it out on your cheek, uh, chin first. And then if it seems to be doing okay, maybe do it for your whole face. But yeah, that's it for today. I just really quickly wanted to share this because I think it's uh, it, my skin feels great guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to press like, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram and I'll see you guys in my next. Ciao!